the the poverty part i think it's clear that uh, it's going to be harder because we're going to have to find customized solutions to deal with the pockets of poverty which as i said are mostly in fragile states and it will increasingly be in conflict zones and fragile states and in marginalized communities now the second big problem is that the model of growth that we used to follow which was essentially an export-led industrial model we weren't that conscious about the consequences of this for uh, the environment that model no longer works. What we need to do is to move developing countries to the escalator of green growth, but mm -hmm. that's easier said than done. Less than 10% of the global investment in green energy is taking place in developing countries, partly because they don't have a very good pipeline of projects, partly because it's harder to mobilize financing for it. Uh, and for that reason, you find that uh, they run the risk of being left behind in terms of dealing with uh, the kind of growth model that the rest of the world will be migrating to. It will be migrating in fits and starts. It won't be a, a smooth and linear transformation, but we will eventually get to a more uh, climate-friendly, sustainable growth path, and we need to make sure that the developing countries aren't bystanders in that.